right click on this package and let's create a file and we're going to name it video playing animation it's going to be a file cool let me just close this so that we are not distracted so this will be a composable function it's going to be called video playing animation cool and the first thing we have to do is this transition that will enable us to play this animation over and over again because that is what we want we want the bars to go up and down uh, over and over again like infinitely so with that we are going to use this um, transition called remember infinite transition so let's create a variable for that it's going to be called infinite transition remember infinite transition cool so this this variable will allow us to play our animation over and over again without stopping provided that we have entered the composition cool so the next thing now um we want to animate the height so let's do that so let's just call this height one since uh, we'll have three bars then call by infinite transition so refer to this infinite transition dot animate float so animate float will allow us to uh, animate the value so the initial and target value then it will enable us to animate the the transition from the initial value to the target value cool so we are going to start the initial value at 13 f 13 uh, float also 13 float then the animation spec will be we want it to be infinite so we are just going to call infinite repeatable then inside of this we are going to put our animation so our animation will be we will start with the keyframes so the keyframes will allow us to um, at what duration should the should the initial value and the target value move so we have to set the duration so the duration will be 300 i'm um, just going to say at 500 milliseconds and the and the float that it, it's supposed to move at it will be at 0 0.7 f at 200 seconds so what this does is just that um we want that when it's 500 seconds it should so the duration will be 500 seconds but at 200 seconds we want the height to move at 0 0.7 so at 200 seconds it will be at 0. Point, it will be moving at 0. 0.7 uh float so it will depend with the float that you have set but for us we have set at 13f cool next thing now is set it at repeat mode so this will allow us uh, to set the animation at repeat mode so repeat mode dot reverse so the, the reason for reverse is that um, we want it to like when it reaches the target value it returns back so as you reverse a car it's like you move it forward and it comes back so we want our height to go at the target value and come back so that's the reason for that so let's import this after importing that uh, the next thing now we have to do is copy this so i'm just going to copy this and put height 2 here then change this to 10 also change this to 10 also change the duration to 450 milliseconds the reason for this uh you'll see in a minute i'll explain in a minute and height three copy this and name it height three so the reason i'm giving it i'm creating uh like three heights here three animation heights is because if we come here you can see there are three bars so the first one will be for this the second one will be for this and the third one will be for this and as you can see they're not animating at the same uh at the same duration and at the same height so that's the reason i'm changing this to 10 also changing the duration also i have to change the third one also to eight so i'm just going to change this to eight also this to eight and i'm just going to put this at 400 cool and uh, with that we are done with that so let's continue cool uh the next thing now we have to we have to create these boxes 
so I have to create these boxes like uh, the boxes I guess the boxes so let's do that cool the next thing now uh, below this you have to create a box and uh, you have to give it a height so so the reason I'm giving this a height is because uh, you want to create this round box which holds this animation so that's why I, I have to give it a height so not even a height but the size so I'm just going to say modifier modifier dot size is going to be 20 dp then uh, since this is rounded so you can see that this is rounded i'm just going to clip it so this is simple in jetpack compose so you're just going to say dot clip then circle shape that's all you have to do to create a round circle then uh, let's give it a background so i'm just going to give it a background of dark gray because if you come here you can see that it's kind of gray awesome so we are going to give it dark gray and uh, we want to align the content to the center to the center awesome so let me reformat this cool so now let's create our boxes so if you come here you can see these boxes are like horizontally aligned so we have to put it in a row so let me just do that so row and we're going to give it a horizontal arrangement uh, of 2db since they are spaced so arrangement dot spaced by 2db so the reason i'm doing this is um, if you come here you can see me there's some space in between these three boxes so that's the reason i'm using spaced by then we have to vertically align this animation so vertically alignment is equal to alignment dot center vertically cool so now let's create our boxes so so the first box will give it a width it of 2db so modifier with it 2db we are going to give it a height so this will be the height we are going to give it the first one so height will be this one so the first one then um, the clip we are going to clip this so clip it uh forgot to add dp here so add dp here then we're going to clip it so dot clip so the reason i'm clipping it you'll see in a moment so rounded corner shape i'm going to give it 50 dp so that it's a pack it, it's a perfect uh curve so if you come here to the youtube section you can see that this let me zoom in you can see that these uh, boxes they are rounded at at the top and at the bottom so that's why I'm giving it a rounded corner of 50 dp so that it's a perfect curve. So this height, uh, so this height will be an animated height. So this will move up and down. So you'll see in a moment. Cool. And uh, we want to give it a background of white. So background of white. Let me remove format this. So reformat code. And we are done with the first box so let's create the second and the third box so let me just copy this the second one and the third one and uh, we are going to change only one thing we want to give since this is the second box we want it to give this the animated height so height 2 so this will be height 2 this will be height 3 so this height will be animated and in, it will be infinite so as you can see this is where we are doing the animation and we are providing it inside this height so you'll see in a moment that we'll achieve this uh, animation where the box is going up and down continuously cool and with that we are done creating the animation so just make sure you're not using uh, you have not imported the new steam pots 
let's close this go to the main activity and this is where we're going to do the magic cool so let's create um, a composable which will host um, so this is what we're going to build next so we have created this animation the next thing now is um, this we have to put to align this animation to this image so that's what we are going to do so we are going to call it channel short plane let's create this uh, more actions create function awesome uh it's going to be a composable awesome let me close this so that you're not distracted cool so what do you want to do right now so we want to align this animation to this image so let's do that the first thing now we have to do is um, put all of this in a box first so box then um, we are going to uh, we are going to modify this we are going to give it a modifier so that we can give it a background so we want to fill the maximum size first so that it fills the whole screen then we want to give you a background of black 300 so i, I imported this uh, color before so you can pause the video and copy it if you want cool the next thing now is uh, we want to align this animation to the center of the screen so align it to the center cool so we are done with that so the next thing now is uh, let's align the image uh, the animation to the bottom so if you come here you can see the animation is at the bottom and they're at the end and it's also uh, overlapping the image so how do we do that so it's we have to do something here so first thing first we have to put the image we have to start with the image so we want to put the image in a box so that we can achieve that uh, overlapping then um, modifier we want to clip the image so if you come here you can see the image is clipped at the start top end so let's do that so modifier dot clip and uh, rounded corner shape we are going to give it hdp and uh, after that um, let's uh, give the image so painter so i'm just going to so for us to achieve the overlapping of the image we have to put the image inside the, a box so just put it inside a box then give it a size so the size of the image so i'm just going to give it a random size of 60 dp then inside of here this is where we're going to put our image so image so we start with the painter so painter resource then i'm going to give it the image that i imported so r dot drawable dot channel youtube channel logo then uh, content description you can just give it null then we'll start with the modifier so we are going to clip the image so if you come here you can see the image is clipped at the start end bottom and the start bottom so we want to clip this so modifier.clip rounded corner shape and we are going to give it um let's say 8 dp that will be enough then the last thing now is um we want to make the image to be like um well scaled so we are going to use content scale dot crop so this will allow our image to be like more crisp and more like more vibrant so with that we are done let me reformat this so that we can align our code very well awesome cool and with that we are done with the first part of the image so we want to put this animation now so for us to overlap this we have to set our z index and also give it a translation of the x axis and the y axis so let me just use let me just call this so that we can understand what you are doing here so modifier is equals to modifier so we want to use the z index so the z index will allow us to um, make sure that 
we we are putting the image at a certain position so z index 2f then we have to use the graphic layer so that we can allow this animation to be at the bottom so you can see that it's at the bottom and at the end cool so the next thing now is graphics layer dot graphics layer graphics layer so we want our animation to be at the end at the and at the bottom so how do we do that so i played around with this and for the translation x so for the x axis we want it to be drawn at the end so 60f and at the y axis it will be 50 float so i played around with this and this this is how we are I was able to align this at the bottom and at the end and it was overlapping. Cool. So the next thing now is uh, let's put this animation and we'll be done. So row and uh, modifier is equals to align, modifier.align. So I'm just setting this at the bottom end so that we can be more secure that we are putting it at the end then let's give it a padding of 20 dp 20 dp and uh, we are done so let's put this animation inside here so this video playing animation inside of this row so video playing animation cool and we are done so let's run this and see what we have awesome so i've run the application and as you can see voila we have that smooth cool animation so it was that quite simple with jetpack compose it's quite simple to make any animation that you can imagine and um, as you can see if you compare it with the animation you have on youtube it's quite similar yeah it's not that smooth but it's quite similar so yeah you can see that cool animation so i hope you have learned something about animation about transition and uh yeah so be imaginative build any animation you want with jetpack compose and uh, if you want more of these videos more of these um, animation videos with jetpack compose please comment down below and if you learn something please uh, leave a like and also share with someone that will find this useful so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye Thank you.